is Scott with tutorialstock.com. We're going to do a little bit more with clipping masks in this tutorial and custom shapes. So here you can see this beautiful flower of a uh, picture of a rose. Um, I'm going to go over here and underneath my text tool you'll see your different shape tools. If you click and hold down, usually it's on the rectangle, just click and hold down and we'll activate the custom shape tool. And we'll go up to our options palette up at the top and we want to make sure shape layers is selected. You have three different options here, paths, fill pixels. We want to make sure shape layers is selected and that way when we draw our custom shape it's placed on its own layer as a vector object. I'm going to come over here to my shape drop down and this is where you have a whole bunch of different shapes and if you don't see all the same ones I do go ahead and load another library by clicking this little circle. Click on that, and you have all these different libraries, objects, nature, music, whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and choose animals. And when you choose a different library, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, go ahead and replace that library with the current library. And then if, if you want to do that, you'll click OK or cancel or append. Well, append means add the uh, shape library, the animal shape library, to the current library. So I'll just choose append. And if you can see, if I drag down, yes, there's the different animals, so it did add the animal library. Uh, the one I'm after, though, is uh, the butterfly. So I'm going to double-click this butterfly. And you can see I have a little crosshairs cursor here. I'm just going to click and drag out a butterfly. And it places it on its own layer as a vector shape. You can see there's a little mask there that creates the vector shape. If you wish to change the color, you just double-click here change the color to whatever you like. In this case it doesn't matter because we're going to create a clipping mass out of that layer. To do this we want to take this background layer and drag it above the other one but notice we can't right now and that's because it's the background layer. The background layer is a special layer that can't be moved. However all you need to do is double click and name it anything. It, you can even rename it background layer. Just click OK. Now you can drag that above that first layer what we're going to do is spill that flower into the butterfly shape. And how we're going to do this is we're going to go make sure the flower layer is selected. In fact, I'm going to double click that and rename it flower. There we go. So double click, just type in flower and hit your enter key. Now I'm going to go to layer up at the top and choose create clipping mask. As soon as we do that, you can see that that flower has now been poured into that butterfly shape. I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. I'm going to click the create new layer click on this and drag it down to the bottom and I'm going to fill that with a color I think I'm going to do black so I'm just going to go to my swatches palette and choose black you can see over here my foreground color is black make sure the background layer that new layer is selected the very bottom one just do alt backspace to fill that with the background or the foreground color foreground color in this case is black Okay, I'm going to show you one other thing you can do. I'm going to go ahead and click on that flower layer and ungroup it. So I'm going to click on Layer, Release Clipping Mask. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this, and that's just to simply place your cursor on the line, this horizontal line that separates the flower from the shape layer. Just place it over that. Hold down your Alt key, and you'll see that little icon up here. It looks like a little arrow with two circles, and click, and that does the exact same thing. It's the same thing as going to Layer, clipping mask. If you want to release it, you just go to that line again, hold down Alt and click again. You can see I just released it, so you can toggle that on and off. Great effect. Then you can get your move tool and kind of place that flower within the image exactly how you wish uh, for the object to look like. And you can always hide this and just use that one image as like a ping uh, or, or keep that transparency as a GIF or a ping or something like that. If you want to bring back the color, of course you just bring it back by clicking the little eyeball icon and now you can see it again. So great uh, great effect, easy to do and uh, you can use any one of these objects uh, to create a clipping mask.